Good morning. Welcome to Mays Manor United Methodist Church. We light this candle as a symbol that God is in the house. And not just our house, but your house too. On this Christmas Sunday, we're going to begin to worship with a song. Jesus welcomed toll collectors and sinners into his community, which includes all of us. So let's welcome everyone to worship in the comments during our welcome song. Yeah. 
Please join us in the call to worship. Come to us, Christ our hope. Come to us, Christ our peace. Come to us, Christ our joy. Come, Lord, come. Our mission is to be a church where people actually live like Jesus. And this Advent, we are getting ready to celebrate the birth of Jesus. We invite everyone to join us for our countdown to Christmas and do the daily activities on the Mays Manor Advent calendar. This week, I get extra credit for sharing a picture of our salt dough cookie ornaments. Now, Heather Miller is going to share a favorite Christmas tradition and light the Advent candle. My favorite family tradition is the cousin secret Santa. We all put our names in the hat, pick out a name, and then pick out a gift for that cousin. My favorite secret Santa, my favorite is, my favorite um, family tradition is um, eating pizza and seeing Santa. What's yours? My favorite is I like eating um, a mac and cheese. <laughs> okay, and singing Santa? And having the day at my house. Okay, thank you. That's good. All right. My favorite family tradition uh, at Christmas time is going to cut down the Christmas tree. It's something that we've done for probably 40 plus years. Um, we all hike out um, to for various farms that we've gone to and the running joke is always how long is it going to take for my mom to find the perfect tree. Um, but it's just something that we always look forward to um, this time of year. We light this candle as a symbol of Christ the way. May the word sent from God through the prophets lead us to the way of salvation. O come, O come, Emmanuel. Let's go to Mary Ellen and Lori for the children's message. So today for our children's moment, we have a very special video from the kids and youth of the church. They are reading Twas the Night Before Christmas. And we want to thank all of the families that participated. And we wish you... A Merry Christmas. Twas the night before Christmas when all throughout the house not a creature was stirring, not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas would soon be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just set our brains for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window, after the look of flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes did appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer. With a little old driver so lively and quick, I knew in a moment he must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles, his coursers they came, and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen. To the top of the porch, to the top of the wall. Now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with the sleigh full of toys, and St. Nicholas too. And then, in a twinkling, I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney, St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot, and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of a pipe he held tight in his teeth, and the smoke it encircled his head like a wreath. 
He had a broad face and a little round belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and the twist of his head soon gave me to know I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word. He went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying a finger aside of his nose and giving a nod up the chimney, he rose. He sprang to his sleigh and get to his team gave a whistle, and away they flew like the down of a thistle. <laughs> but I heard him exclaim, here he drove out of sight. Happy Christmas to you all! As we begin to collect the prayers of the people, I would like to invite you to take a few moments to think about the things you've seen in the news in this past week that raise your anxiety and fear. To picture the people who you know in your personal life who are in some special need of God's grace. And to think about the good things, all the ways that God has blessed you and been with you in these recent days. Then lift your prayers up to God, and let your worries go. Now I would like to invite you to share your prayers in the comments while Lee reads our prayer list. Good morning. Please pray for those affected by COVID and all those who take care of them. For our church family, please pray for Ed and Hillary, for Judy, Carol, and Norma, and praises this week are a very successful market last Saturday. And thank you to all those who made it possible. And the vaccine is finally coming for the hope, peace, and joy of Christmas. Lord, hear our prayers. Let's pray. O oh God, our Father, you have brought us again to the glad season when we celebrate the birth of your Son, Jesus Christ. Grant that his spirit may be born anew in our hearts this day, and that we may joyfully welcome him to reign over us. Open our ears that we may hear again the angelic chorus of old. Open our lips that we too may sing with uplifted hearts. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace, goodwill toward all. These things we ask in the name of Christ, who taught us to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory forever. Amen. This year we are going to do our traditional service of lessons and carols as our Christmas cantata, and Lily is going to start things off by gathering us together with an instrumental version of O Come, All Ye Faithful.
Our first reading today is from the 40th chapter of Isaiah, verses 1 through 8. Comfort, comfort my people, says your God. Speak tenderly to Jerusalem and proclaim to her that her hard service has been completed, that her sin has been paid for, that she has received from the Lord's hand double for all her sins. A voice of one calling, in the desert prepare the way for the Lord, make straight in the wilderness a highway for our God. Every valley shall be raised up, every mountain and hill made low, the rough ground shall become level. The rugged places a plain, and the glory of the Lord will be revealed, and all mankind together will see it. For the mouth of the Lord has spoken, a voice says, cry out. And I said, what shall I cry? All men are like grass, and all their glory is like the flowers of the field. The grass withers and the flowers fall because the breath of the Lord blows on them. Surely the people are grass, the grass withers and the flowers fall, but the word of our God stands forever. Angels from the realms of glory, wing your flights o'er all the earth. Ye who sing creation story, now proclaim Messiah's birth. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ, the newborn King. Saints before the altar bending, watching long in hope and fear. Suddenly the Lord descending in his temple shall appear. Come and worship, come and worship, worship Christ the newborn King. The days are surely coming, says the Lord, when I will raise up for David a righteous branch, and he shall reign as king and deal wisely, and shall execute justice and righteousness in the land. In his days Judah will be saved, and Israel will live in safety, and this is the name by which he will be called. The Lord is our righteousness. The first Noel the angel did say was to certain poor shepherds in fields as they lay, in fields where they lay keeping their sheep on a cold winter's night that was so deep. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. They looked up and saw a star shining in the east beyond them far. And to the earth it gave great light, and so it continued both day and night. Noel, 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 born is the King of Israel. Hello, Maze Manor. Your scripture is Zechariah 9, verses 9 and 10. Rejoice greatly, O daughter Zion. Shout aloud, O daughter Jerusalem. Lo, your king has come to you. Triumph and victorious is he, humble and riding on a donkey, on a colt, on a foal of a donkey. He will cut off the chariot from Ephraim. 
and the war horse from Jerusalem, and the battle bow shall be cut off. And he shall command peace to the nations. His dominion shall be from sea to sea, and from the river to the ends of the earth. Hark the herald angels sing, glory to the newborn King. Peace on earth and mercy mild, God and sinners reconciled. what the Lord Almighty says. In a little while, I will once more shake the heavens and the earth, the sea and the dry land. I will shake all nations, and what is desired by all nations will come, and I will fill this house with glory, says the Lord Almighty. The silver is mine, and the gold is mine, declares the Lord Almighty. The glory of this present house will be greater than the glory of the former house, says the Lord Almighty. And in this place, I will grant peace, declares the Lord Almighty.
A reading from Isaiah chapter 35. The wilderness and the dry land shall be glad. The desert shall rejoice and blossom. Like the crocus, it shall blossom abundantly and rejoice with joy and singing. The glory of Lebanon shall be given to it, the majesty of Carmel and Sharon. They shall see the glory of the Lord, the majesty of our God. Strengthen the weak hands and make firm the feeble knees. Say to those who are of a fearful heart, Be strong, do not fear. Here is your God. He will come with vengeance, with terrible recompense. He will come and save you. Then the eyes of the blind shall be opened, and the ears of the deaf unstopped. Then the lame shall leap like a deer, and the tongue of the speechless sing for joy. For waters shall break forth in the wilderness, and streams in the desert. At this time, we will receive our tithes and offerings. We very much appreciate all the people who have continued to support the church throughout this year. With a good December, we can actually still finish this year strong. There are a couple of different ways that you can give. You can go online to mazemanorumc.org slash give, or you can take this time to go ahead and write your check and get it ready to mail in during the offering song. Angels, we have heard a cry, sweetly singing o'er the place, and the loud tentific cry, echoing their joyous strains. In the sixth month, the angel Gabriel was sent by God to a town in Galilee called Nazareth, to a virgin engaged to a man whose name was Joseph, of the house of David. The virgin's name was Mary. 
And he came to her and said, Greetings, favored one, the Lord is with you. But she was much perplexed by his words and pondered what sort of greeting this may be. The angel said to her, Do not be afraid, Mary, for you have found favor with God. And now you will conceive in your womb and bear his son, and you will name him Jesus. He will be great and will be called the Son of the Most High. And the Lord God will give to him the throne of his ancestor David. He will reign over the house of Jacob forever. In his kingdom there will be no end. Mary said to the angel, How can this be since I am a virgin? The angel said to her, The Holy Spirit will come upon you, and the power of the Most High will overshadow you. Therefore the child to be born will be holy. He will be called Son of God. Then Mary said, Here I am, the servant of the Lord. Let it be with me according to your word. Then the angel departed from her. final reading today comes from the book of John, chapter 1, verses 1 to 14. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came into being through him, and without him not one thing came into being. What has come into being in him was life, and the life was the light of all people. The light shines in the darkness and the darkness did not overcome it. 
There was a man sent from God, whose name was John. He came as a witness to testify to the light, so that all may believe through him. He himself was not the light, but he came to testify to the light. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came into being through him, yet the world did not know him. He came to what was his own, and his own people did not accept him. But to all who received him, who believed in his name, he gave power to become children of God, who were born not of blood or of the will of the flesh or of the will of man, but of God. And the word became flesh and lived among us, and we have seen his glory, the glory as of a father's only son, full of grace and truth. Verse 5 always stands out to me. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness did not overcome it. The idea of light shining in the darkness is how our church's countdown to Christmas began. As December approached, with all of the things going on in the world, I found myself feeling a little bit lacking when it came to Christmas spirit. I thought some of you might also be running low on Christmas spirit this year, so I talked to my wife about wanting to do something to make sure that Christmas could still be celebrated, even in a year with so many things going on. And she was the one who suggested that we make a May's Manor Advent calendar. Now we have counted down almost all of the days on the calendar. We have dropped off hats, gloves, and scarves for the Christmas market. We have watched a Muppet Christmas Carol. We have even had a carol sing in our house that was hosted live on Facebook by the Rice Family Singers. Now there are only a few days left. Tomorrow we will make paper snowflakes. Then we will light a candle in honor of a loved one, and I'm sure some of the people who I will be remembering are my grandparents, whose house was always filled with wall-to-wall -wall presents at Christmas time. Then we will call or FaceTime someone that we love. Finally, on December the 24th, we will join uh, those of you who can come out for our drive through Christmas Eve, as we will have a social distanced live nativity, and you can just stay in your car, literally, while you drive through um, the, the church parking lot. Then on Christmas Day, we will light the Christ candle and read the Christmas story. Then we will keep the crafts and the pictures to remember how we all celebrated Christmas together in a year when we were apart. Today, Christmas is only five days away. And I will say it has made a big difference for me to choose to celebrate Christmas, even with everything that is going on. No matter what is going on around us, Christ can bring us hope, peace, joy, and light. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. So even though this year we cannot gather together in a dark sanctuary and all have our white Christ candles to light, let's still join together in singing Silent Night. Silent night, holy night, all is calm, all is bright, round yon virgin mother and child, oh, 
Now let us trust in God, let us live like Jesus, and by the power of the Holy Spirit, let us always keep in mind that the light shines in the darkness, and the darkness does not overcome it. Let's all say goodbye to each other in the comments, and remember to join us for our drive through Christmas Eve. And remember, the church is not a building, the church is the people. So even though our building may be mostly closed, the church is always open. Merry Christmas!